What's going on guys, Mitch Edis here, coming back with another Forza Horizon 4 video. Today's video is we'll be showing the current biggest money glitch in Forza Horizon 4 that I've actually never shown on my channel before, so it's a new glitch to my channel, and it's a new method to most of you people who'll be watching this video looking for the quickest way to make some quick credits in Forza Horizon 4. None of this works whether you're new to the game or you've been playing for a while and you're simply looking to get that credit boost to buy the next car, the next house, or whatever it may be. Now just a few disclaimers, this works on both Xbox and PC, completely safe to use and the average hourly income you'll be able to get from using this glitch is around 8 to 12 million credits per hour. I know people who have gotten far more than that, around 16 million, and I know some people who are not so good at the game who've gotten around 5 to 6 million, but once they've gotten better, once they've perfected the glitch, and when they've essentially gotten more efficient at it, it's easy to be able to get into the upper echelon of that 10 million to 12 million threshold. So guys, if you want to stay up to date with the best Forza Horizon 4 glitches, tutorials, and other giveaways, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel with notifications on, and feel free to smash the like button, guys. It costs nothing to do so, and only takes a few seconds, and comment any suggestions or feedback or your thoughts on the video down below. Now just briefly, letting you guys know the Series 27 modded accounts will be available on Mishaz.com very soon. If you guys, I'm not going to go into too much in uh, details throughout the course of this video, but basically for more information on them, head over to my Discord or look, click on the link at the top of the description to head over to the website. Of course, we can mod these accounts for PC and Xbox. They work online, they're completely safe to use, and of course they come with all the rarest items. We can mod your personal account, our new pre-made account, or we can simply sell your credit package ranging from 120 million to 1 billion credits. But guys, now I'm gonna get started with the glitch. So first off, you want to head to the auto show. So this will be setting up the car you guys want to go ahead and use for this. Now, basically, to give you a brief rundown on what's required in the glitch, it's essentially going to be getting skill points. Now, I know if you a lot of you are probably watching saying, I bet it's going to be the same racy shows as usual. Now, for those of you who are unaware of what I mean by that, I've shown a video and I've shown a race before called the Elm Sedonti Sprint. It is a good way to get money, but this video is completely different. So first thing off, you want to go in and have the BMW M6 Coupe Forza Edition. The reason why is because this car has a drift skills boost meaning you're going to get far more skill points for drifting around with this car in particular it costs around 150,000 credits to buy one out from the auction house or it's very simple or common to unlock them from super wheel spin so if you already have one good if you want to buy from from the auction house they're not very expensive so feel free to go ahead and do so in terms of what upgrades i've just fully upgraded to myself although i would recommend you guys get a drifting tune if you want to find a tune simply go into the find new tune section scroll along till you find a five star rated one with the drift caption it's pretty self-explanatory and go ahead and get whatever you are uh, whatever one you choose it doesn't really make that much of a difference but it is kind of important in terms of car mastery have a quick look on my screen this is very very important for this glitch so basically I've went ahead and upgraded all the essential ones for you. So I know a lot of you guys might not have hundreds of skill points. You might be pretty low on them when you get started with this glitch or before you get started. So I've gone ahead and made the most affordable but effective use of these possible. As you can see, I have the more, most important skill points uh, or the skill chains or perks unlocked and I have the unnecessary ones. I refrain from unlocking or purchasing the ones that are, quite, are quite ineffective for this glitch. So it's to save you guys around 50 skill points because they're all pretty expensive. So take a screenshot of the screen or just remember these because you're going to need them to be able to boost the amount of skill points you can get from this glitch significantly. So first off guys, once you've gone ahead and upgraded your car, let's go ahead and go on the map and head over to the right side of the map, right along where this Halo Experience Showcase and this Drift uh, circuit is. So basically you can fast travel here, you can drive here. If you fast travel, you'll be put back to the beach. You have to drive a little bit to go ahead and get onto the exact point where I'll be talking about this glitch. So first off, you wanna go ahead and drive. It's kinda, it's night right now for uh, my screen, but you'll still be able to get a fair glimpse as to what I'm gonna be showing within the course of this glitch. And basically right here, you can see that this is the Bamber Beach Drag Strip. So just before I get onto the video, guys, I'll go, be, I'll go ahead and explain something, but I'll get started. So basically what's involved is with this method, you're going to be going ahead and drifting up and down this drag strip while hitting these fences. These fences give you wreckage skills, and uh, dra uh, drifting in general will give you the drift skill bonuses, which will be able to get you a bunch of skill points, which will then be transferred to credits later in the video. So basically, each lap I consider be going up and down this section. It takes around a minute and a half, and you'll easily be able to get 10 skill points from doing so. One thing I need to ad address, which is very important, if you look at the top right now, my skill chain is at 25,000. Only go to 70,000. The reason behind this is because once you've gone above 70,000, you're no longer being efficient. What I mean by this is once your skill chain at the top is at 70,000, you've hit the maximum amount of skill points that you can get in one skill chain, which is 10. You can only get 10 skill points per skill chain, and basically what I'm saying is once you hit 70,000, you've reached that amount. 
So don't bother going above that. And I'd recommend you guys stop drifting at around 50,000 as once you're at 50,000, it'll actually be higher than it shows on screen. So right now, I'm going to go in and drift the other side of the, um, the circuit and you'll be able to see that I'll probably end this chain at around 75,000 to 80,000, which means I wasn't being as efficient as I could be. So basically, I'm going to go in and stop and you'll see exactly what I mean. This is important in this video just so you guys have a deeper understanding of what I mean by this. So you'll see the points will keep stacking up well above what it looked like I was actually at. I probably stopped drifting at around 55,000 to 60,000 skill points on the chain, yet it's going to continue to go upwards of 75,000 most likely all the way into the 80,000 region. So this is something to take into consideration, whether you do shorter laps up and down just so you're being more efficient and you're hitting exactly 70,000, it's up to you. You're going to need to optimize this for yourself, but I'd recommend you only go to around 75% down your way through the circuit because this way or around 60 to 75%, this way when you come back, you're hitting this uh, end point at around exactly 70,000 so as you can see it ended at 94,000 like I predicted and you'll see this will be equivalent of 10 skill points which will add up in a second here you'll see they'll start to count up and there'll be 10 skill points now one thing I need to show you guys is that if you don't want to sit there and wait for the skill chain to end one thing you can do is I'll go ahead and drift briefly so as a brief example let's say you've just come up down uh, from a lap and you're like I don't want to wait like what 20 seconds for my drift uh, skill chain to enter or eggs uh, to finish sorry all you need to do is come up to this drag racing event enter and then escape right out and as you can see the skill points have been uh, have been done they've been added to your account they've been credited that's all you need to do so that's just something uh, that i'd recommend you guys do for more efficient purposes i just showed you them stacking up as an example of what i mean that the max you can get in a chain is seventy thousand. So now, you, let's say you've been doing this for half an hour, you easily would have around 600 to 800 skill points, maybe more, maybe a little bit less if it's your first time doing it, and now you're thinking, how can I get the credits? Well guys, this is where it comes into play. First method is not the best of method, but it's easiest. So first off, auto show, you want to go ahead and buy a Porsche, and you want to go to 911 Turbo 3.3. This is the OG method, very simple, it's very easy, and you can do it as many times as possible, or as many times as you want, sorry. So this car costs 150,000 credits. There is a car mastery skill perk, which gives you 300,000 credits. So if you're buying each one of these for 150,000 and you're getting 300,000 back, you're profiting 150,000 credits each time. So if you have 600 skill points and this costs 20 skill points per time, you can get go ahead and get a big return on that guys, which would be around what? Around 4.5 to 5 million credits just from a fair few, uh, 600 skill points you go ahead and use. So as you can see, the 300,000 credit perk is up uh, unlocked and you can spend one extra skill point to get one wheel spin. I'd recommend you guys go ahead and do that just to test your luck to get some rare cars or other items. But now here's the better way to do it. So let's go ahead and go into the barn finds. So every single person will have these cars if you've completed the barn finds. But if not, you're able to buy them off the auction house for very cheap. So as you can see, the MGB, GT. So you can buy these off the auction house. I'm not going to go in and show you because I've made separate videos about this before about free money, but it takes a little bit of time to show you, explain it. But basically, you can buy these off the auction house for around 15,000 credits each. And you can see upgrades and tuning, car mastery. You can actually get 300,000 credits from this. It's around 25 skill points, but the car only costs around 15,000 or 20,000. So you're profiting 280,000 credits for 25 skill points, opposed to profiting 150,000 for 20 skill points with the Porsche. One thing you got to worry out, uh, look out for, is that some of these listed on the auction house, they've already used these car perks or the car mastery skill perks, and you can not use them again. So that's one thing to look out for. You want to go ahead and look for cars that are not duplicates. So if you see the same seller over and over again, do not buy them. You want to look for ones that look legit. You you won't always get it, but even if you buy five and the sixth one is the uh, five misses and the sixth one isn't used, you're still profiting more than you would with the poor so it's up to you guys. But that's going to be better for this video. I tried to make it as compact as possible, addressing all the important characteristics of the glitch and showing you guys exactly what you need to do. Hope you all enjoy this video. Hope you're going to have a good time with this glitch. It's a little bit grindy, but it's at least a little bit more fun than driving because you get to have a bit of a time, uh, fun drifting on the beach. And you can easily get, like I said, 8 to 12 million credits per hour, guys. So have fun grinding. Hopefully you can get the next house or um, car you're looking for. And if you guys want to stay up to date with the best Forza Horizon 4 glitches, tutorials, and giveaways, go ahead and subscribe to my channel with notifications on and if you're looking for the best cheapest and quickest delivery for the horizon 4 modded accounts personal account mod services or credit packages head over to mitchaz.com hope you all enjoyed thank you so much for watching
Yeah.